Although they are small in number, the voices of these residents of Magwara and Makugi communities in Ogun State could be heard loud and clear as they hit the road in a peaceful protest. They should disconnect us or they give us fight. Great number of people! Armed with placards bearing their grievances, the group marches through the streets, drawing the attention of the public to the plight of their communities. You don't expect us to pay 7,005 for just four hours life. This raping is enough. Yes. This beating is enough. Yes. Great Marlboro people. Yes. Did you not buy your transformer? Yes. Did you not buy your speaker? Yes. Did you not buy your cable? Yes. Did you not buy your, your life? Yes. What did they give us? Nothing. Yes. Going by the line of their song, the protesters obviously have their frustration pitched against the Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company. When I moved in here in 20. 2010, there was no light. We had to contribute as a resident. I, I contributed money to buy poles, wire, high tension, transformer. Then, when they wanted to energize, IBD, I, we pay, IBD told us that before they will come, we have to pay. We paid the energize. And they said again that we have to write a written document stating that we donated the, 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 the infrastructures to them. And we said, on a, on a note, you must give us steady power supply. And up to date, since that time, IBDEG has failed. These are not the immediate reasons for this protest, which they say is long overdue. Outrageous estimated billing, poor electricity supply, illicit disconnection, among other complaints and allegations. We may not have light for 12 hours in five days. It's uncomfortable. I don't understand why they are collecting money. When we started off on everything we bought, they started with 2,500. We bought everything, every goddamn thing. They were collecting two five. Now we are paying 4,000, 5,000. Upon that, there won't be light. I believe this is using an isolator to off our light in order to supply the, our neighborhood. who are using 16-hour supply every day and they are paying 7,000 monthly. They charge them at 55 naira for six cobo. And meanwhile, the charges are 28 naira for seven call. We are not seeing anything. Even our leaders, our CDC leaders, they are also a problem. They are not pressing this issue. I don't know if my BDC has been giving them something or I, we don't know. That's not the problem. That's not their own problem. But our problem is that they should press our issues. The protest gathers momentum as more people join in. <laughs> It was an opportunity for everyone, young and old, from the roadside trader to the artisan, the passerby, motorist, to vent their frustration in any form they want. They are just coming us. They, we don't get this light regularly. Among their demand is that the distribution company should do a downward review of electricity billing. We want daily supply of electricity, averagely 18 hours per day. We are willing to pay for it. Okay? But if they cannot do that, then they should leave. The old arrangement we had rotationally is not working anymore. I know what is finding it funny. And that's why we are saying, let's let them come to the table and sit with us. Let them listen to our grievances. If they can comply with what we want, we we'll, would we'll continue to patronize their services. But if they cannot comply with what we want, they should leave. Let another distribution company come in and do what we want. It's as simple as that. If you are not ready to give us quality life, we are not ready to pay. No quality life, no payment. They should stop giving us bills that we are not enjoying. We are tired. Oh,
This is certainly beyond the local service center of the electricity distribution company. Staff reportedly left the office premises on citing the protesters. However, the company is aware of the challenges in Magbur and Makogi communities. The regional head, Adimola Adewumi, explains what led to the poor power supply. The agreement earlier made was that we will be giving them certain hours of supply based on the availability from our uh, TCN um, substation at uh, Okiaru. Uh, presently, the energy that has been given has been pegged to about 10 megawatts. And um, right now, the capacity in that area requires between 35 to 40 megawatts. Um, over time, we actually made that agreement so that we can make available supply to the major axis, which is Mowe, Magboro, Ibafo axis. But what has happened over time is that um, such an environment is, is an ever-expanding environment and there are new customers coming on board. So what we discovered is that the load capacity from each customer is increasing from the communities. And the existing capacity given from us, the supply from the TCN, is not adequate to meet up. So we had to readdress that arrangement. Otherwise, the supply will not um, go around the communities. Uh, for instance, in places like Ibafo, sometimes the energy, whenever we pick up the load that is supposed to go to them, the, capacity, the load that they are now taking even exceeds the capacity that which is being given to them. And that's why the, their line trips and does not meet up. And that's why you see the one or two days off, which ordinarily should actually be every day, but just the hours limited. What we have done uh, presently is that we are beginning to see um, investments coming up from, our, uh, from the management radiating a new feeder from, our, from the Kobakwe TCN to at least elevate some of the challenges of power supply from the Okiaru TCN uh, injection substation. The project is already ongoing and we believe that with time uh, that problem of supply will be reduced. Mr. Deomi also addresses the issue of exorbitant electricity bills. What has happened is that we have what we call the capping, uh, the neck capping limits, which is the maximum limits of units that we can assign a customer who is not metered in our books. We have never exceeded that capping limit. What we experienced was that at the time when we, we had an initial issue where we um, put, placed them on the wrong band. They were supposed to be on band E, they were placed on a higher band. And we identified such areas and we have um, actually reconciled those accounts and um, created the customers back their amounts. We recently got agitations from the customers claiming that those bills were not reversed. And uh, we've had several meetings, even involving NEC officials coming down to intervene into this matter. What we have told them is that individual customers can bring their bills and we review the, uh, the bills given to them. And if we so um, missed out some of these customers, we will do the necessary adjustments. Um, so far, we have not really seen customers coming up with those bills. What we are seeing is a mass uh, protest coming from the, uh, from the communities saying that all bills should be returned. Well, what we agreed with them was that they should bring those bills that were claimed to be on the wrong band, 
um, which is what we still have uh, the challenge communicating with the community. The funding of power infrastructure is a major concern for consumers, most often members of communities through self-help initiatives, purchase poles, cables and transformers when they are meant to be provided by the distribution companies who make profits from their services. When the communities do not have the patience to, uh, for us to come up and resolve those issues, they take it up on, by themselves. And the only way that the, to hasten it is sometimes to let them know that if they cannot wait for such investment to come then, and they choose to do it, then it means that they chose to do it voluntarily. We do not force anybody to buy uh, meters, we do, um, to buy transformers, we don't force anybody to buy cables. But if they are unwilling to wait while there is, because we have a long queue, sometimes and uh, because of this the communities decide that they want to contribute towards um, supporting their communities so we we actually um, support that and the many times when they say that uh, monies are being asked um, have challenged the communities that they should come up with a case and bring it forward we are yet to see these cases because there's still allegations that we keep hearing and nobody has actually brought a single case to my table. We are not perfect right now, we know that because we need to supply more. We know they are, it's a viable environment but when we don't have enough supply to give to them then there's, what, there's a limit to what we can do and that is the agitation we want them to not to, we want to appeal to them. They don't need to agitate. Um, the, the light is at the end of the tunnel. We believe that things will get better. It's just a matter of time. The objectives of the National Mass Metering Program is also to accelerate the rate of metering in the country and to eliminate estimated billing. The initiative entails a collaboration involving the federal government, the electricity distribution companies and local meter manufacturers to provide smart prepaid meters to all unmetered customers by 2023. But the projection appears to be having setbacks, as most discos are failing to meet the expectation of electricity consumers. This is one of the demands from the residents of Maguero. Presently, we have the federal, uh, federal government uh, mass metering program. That's a national mass metering program. Uh, we're still in the phase zero of this mass metering, which um, is supposed to be free to the customers, but is an expense to us. Um, uh, the first phase that has been given to us is about 104,000 meters um, and we have a debt of about a million customers to be metered. So we have given priority to those feeders where uh, there are higher supplies and as we graduate down the phases we will trickle the meters down to those areas where the meter, the supply is, more, uh, is less adequate. We believe that the meters will get down to them. But for now, we just uh, want to appeal that we need to work as, uh, we need to collaborate as partners, which we have said many times, to ensure that we are fair to them and they are also fair to us. And um, that way, we can work out a better uh, arrangement. While the Ibadan Disco sues for understanding, the protesters insist they will continue their agitation until all their demands are met. <laughs> Thank you.